Right. Hi, I'm Craig Ellingson, sports editor at the Edmonton Journal. I'm here with Chris O'Leary, our Eskimos beat writer at Commonwealth Stadium. Tomorrow's the Eskimos' first preseason game of 2014 against BC, and there's a few questions uh, left over from last season while well, heading into this year. Uh, we'll start with the offensive line, Chris. What's uh, going on with that? Um, well, I, th I think that's the, the biggest issue with this team this year. I mean, if they're going to be good, if they're going to be any better than they were last year, it's, it starts there. Um, I mean, it's a, a pretty revamped line, uh, a lot bigger, um, you know, advertises a lot meaner, and, you know, having watched them for the last two, two weeks now, just about two weeks, uh, you know, it's it's been a, a much more competitive camp and a, 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 a lot more physical, just really at every position, but more so it, it's really defined in the trenches and just the offensive and defensive line battles have been have been very rough this year. I mean, I think they're going to lean on, uh, you know, you see Simeon Rotier coming back. He took a lot of heat last year and, you know, he's he's more focused and says he's, he's put last year behind him. Uh, just a uh, a different look, I guess, and just that it's it's a much bigger line, and you know I think they they go as far as that line goes in terms of protection and punching holes for the running game this year. Mm -hmm. Another position is uh, quarterback. I mean, Mike Riley is established as the number one, and we could probably say Matt Nichols is in for number two. But we have six guys in camp at quarterback. Yeah. How's that looking uh, as far as it's going to shake out? Um, well, I think. Uh, the game Friday night, you'll, you'll start to see that come together. I mean, I would expect to see a lot of Pat White. Um, you know, I think Chris Jones has been very guarded about what he wants to do with his quarterbacks, and you know, he hasn't he hasn't really said anything to this point. But I, I would expect you would see a lot of Pat White. Um, they know what Mike Riley can do. I think to a lesser extent, they know what Matt Nichols can do. But um, there, there's a lot of hype around Pat White. He has the, the strong college background at West Virginia. Uh, he looked really good in the uh, the scrimmage uh, last Saturday, as, as much stock as you can put in a scrimmage. And uh, you know, and then beyond that, you know, they need to sort out what they want to do with Ja'Cory Harris and Jonathan Crompton as well. Those are two guys that were here last year, and both did well in the in the opportunities opportunities that they got. And uh, you know, I, I think they'll they'll have a decision to make. I think they'd like to ideally keep all five, and that's possible uh, depending on how you juggle them. If you want to put guys on the practice roster, uh, if you want to bury a guy in the nine game all year. But uh, I think this week and next week against Saskatchewan, it'll be about kind of just establishing that pecking order behind Mike Riley. And, you know, I think we assume it's Matt Nichols, but where those next three guys go, I think we'll, we'll start to see here in the next week. As you wrote about earlier this week, uh, Tyler Thomas has emerged as, you know, at running back. Uh, they signed him this uh, spring uh, as a possible contender to uh, take John White's job as a backup uh, to Hugh Charles. Yeah, and I, th I think something that's really aiding him right now is that John White's not at practice. Um, you know, he, he's got an injury, and again, something else that uh, Chris Jones is keeping uh, kind of in-house is the specifics of the injuries and, and severity of them. But we, we haven't seen John White now in almost a week, and... Uh, you know, that, that's allowed Tyler Thomas to, to come in and just show what he can do. And he's, he's not a big guy. I mean, similar to John White and similar to Hugh Charles, who will probably be the, the starting tailback this year. But uh, just an, an explosive little guy and fast. And, uh, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think Chris Jones wants uh, some versatility out of his running backs as well. He wants guys who can catch the ball. And, you know, you look back at last season with the Eskimos, that was an issue for John White. Was he, he dropped a, a lot of key balls in, uh, in big games last year, big moments. And, of course, we have an all-new coaching staff this year. Uh, how, is it, how is it different from last year's staff? Um, I mean, I think anytime you win four games, uh, you know, you're going to see a lot of change. And that's, that's what we've seen this year. It's an entirely new coaching staff. Uh, Chris Jones in his first year as a head coach, but his, this will be his 13th year in the CFL, so it's it's nothing new to him in terms of just being on the field and, and assembling a team and being a part of, of that and kind of knowing what he wants. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a very high tempo practice. I mean, I saw that in Florida at the mini camp, and it, it's carried over to the, the training camp this year. It's just the intensity. I mean, you walk into this stadium and you can hear the defense yelling and just buzzing. And when when the offense is going up against the defense in practice, it's just constantly loud. It's uh, you know, I think that the one thing the assistant coaches have said and that Jones has said uh, the entire time through the, the training camp is that he, he wants the, the practices to be harder than the games. And I think that's something coaches always say, but it, it actually seems like they're achieving that here. And, you know, I think when they get these guys on the field on Friday night, they want things to slow down for them. And, uh, you know, I, I expect them to. It's uh, just a, a, very, a very different environment than it was last year. So that's uh, tomorrow's the preseason game, Eskimos versus the BC Lions, 7 o'clock at Commonwealth Stadium.